Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I turned the Aoi robotic arm remote control kit into a autonomous robot arm powered by an Arduino Mega. This used the Aoi robot kit, it's maybe $30-$40 online. I got mine about three years ago for Christmas uh, and I wanted to upgrade it to run off an Arduino so it could be an autonomous robot arm. And I thought this would just be a fun project, it would be a good learning experience, so why not? So to use this, I am using the Arduino Mega, just due to the amount of pins. I was starting with an Arduino Uno, ran out of space, and then I have three motor controllers. Uh, each motor controller can control one stepper motor or two DC motors. I have the on switch here, and this is just running off a 5 volt power supply, and that powers the Arduino Mega and all of these stepper motors. And then I have each uh, input switch on each of the axes and this runs to this breadboard here where I have them wired with a resistor um, as an input signal to the Arduino. All the cables are run, I use a lot of jumper cables for connecting to the power supply, the stepper motors, and the Arduino. As you can see here I cut off the battery compartment which used to be part of the robot arm and on each axis I have a end stop switch like the one shown here. I just have glued those on and that's for the homing sequence. So here's the base and its homing sequence, and it will turn, and then it clicks the switch and it knows it's stopped. And I, uh, for the base, I hot glued on a little piece of plastic to help it find out, but for all the other ones, I place the switch in an area where another component would run into the switch. And so I moved the robot arm to uh, a fully closed position and found out the perfect spot to hot glue all these switches on. Um, that way, whenever it clicks the, each switch, it knows that is the max direction it can move in one way. Uh, and then whenever we use the code, the robot knows where to go from there. So let's get on to the code. All right, so here's the code for the robot arm. We have our inputs here, and these are the inputs for the different switches, the in-stop switches um, on each axis. We have the base, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and grip, and that is just what I've named the different axes for keeping track of them here in the code. Those are all the input switches uh, numbers on the Arduino Mega. Then we have the uh, pin numbers for the different motor controllers for each base. So the motor controller can control two DC motors since it has four outputs. And so it has a A and B pin for each uh, motor. And that is what can be flip-flopped to change the polarity of the motor, changing the direction it spins. So I've got the base input A and base input B. Well, actually, those are outputs, my, my bad. Um, and then this here, tells me if A is high and B is low, then that will rotate the base counterclockwise, but if A is low and B is high, then it will rotate the base clockwise. And I went ahead and tested that for each axis, so when writing the code, I can just come back up here and say, okay, if I make A high, B low, then it rotates counterclockwise. And I did that for each axis, and then the grip is A1, B0 will open the gripper, and A0, B1 will close the gripper. Uh, and this is a variable for once we do the homing sequence, we can change that to high and that will start the moving sequence. Uh, that's later in the loop. And then these are uh, other variables so we can digitally read the input switches and assign these variables uh, based on those values of the input switch. Okay, so here in the setup, we set up the all of the A, B pins for each motor as output pins because those are going to be sending signals to the motor controllers and an output signal. And then all of the um, switch input pins, those are labeled as inputs because the switches are sending an input to our Arduino Mega. And then here at the beginning of the loop, we will have a digital read for each switch, which is an input, and we assign that switch value to the a variable here which we defined earlier and we have one for each switch and then we start the homing sequence so whenever you turn the robot on the first thing that starts will be this homing sequence and it starts with the base and if the base is let's go down here so if the base switch is red high which means it is not being pressed then the base will put a1 b0 which if we go back up here a1, B0 will rotate counterclockwise, which will rotate the base until it clicks the end stop switch. Then once that is clicked, it says it is low, so that will turn off those motors and that goes on to the next one. If the shoulder, then it will rotate until it goes back up. Then it will do the elbow, the wrist, and the grip. And once those are done, once the grip is clicked, 
it turns the grip motor off and then it changes the home to variable from low to high and that starts our moving sequence. So if home to variable is high, which means the homing sequence has finished, then we start this pre-setup uh, movement. So I will extend the arm and it turns the base motor on and it will be going clockwise. And so I have it turn every single motor on here with a short um, inter inter interval between each turning on of 50 milliseconds. And that's, uh, I was having issues whenever I turned them all at the same time. So I did this short uh, break between each one and then we'll do a delay of however far we want that base to move and then we'll turn it off and then another delay turn the wrist shoulder elbow and then turn the base off and once it is fully extended the homing variable goes back to low and that will restart our homing sequence and then it just loops that forever um, until the controller is turned off so I hope you were able to learn something from this video I just wanted to make a quick showcase of the project I've been working on for the past couple months um, it didn't go into too many details, but I just wanted to give some inspiration if someone else was interested in doing this themselves. Right now, the only sequence I have is the homing sequence you've seen in the video. The robot homes itself, then it extends about halfway. You could set up a loop of another program so you can actually have it do something practical. Uh, it doesn't have much strength though, as it's just a toy but you could set it to pick up a block, maybe stack the blocks and take it over. Yeah, but that's going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed it. I guess I'll see you on the next video. Bye.